Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we dive deep into a topic that's been a game changer for my not taking and personal knowledge management, Obsidian Canvas. If you're ready to unlock a whole new world of idea visualization and creativity, you are in the right place. So let's get started. First things first, what exactly is Obsidian Canvas? It's a core plugin within Obsidian that transforms your digital workspace into an infinite canvas for research, brainstorming, diagramming, and organizing your ideas. No limits, no restrictions, just endless possibilities. I've just opened the vault we've created in the first video. And now let's set up Obsidian Canvas. It's super easy. You'll find it in your Obsidian settings under Core Plugin, Canvas, enable it and click here on the option icon. Here you can choose a default location for new Canvas file. So for example, just create a new folder here and name it Canvas. Now let's go back to the canvas option and we can specify the folder we've just created as the default location for new canvas file. You can also set some mouse behaviors and snapping systems according to your preferences. I personally use the settings you see here. Once you've finished, you can create your first canvas file and you can do that by clicking here on the left button, create new canvas, or you can right click on a folder and click here on new canvas. And in this case, the canvas file will be automatically created inside the folder, or you can use the shortcut Ctrl P or Command P if you use Mac OS, and open your command palette and search for canvas, create new canvas. Once you've created a new canvas, you will see that it will be automatically inside the canvas folder that we've created before. And this is your canvas board. So let's do something like this. Here on the right, you have some basic action buttons, you have some settings, you have the zoom controls, you have the classic undo and redo buttons, and you have the compass help where you can see some useful shortcuts. But what can you actually do here? You can create a text card and you can do that in different ways. I prefer to simply double clicking inside the board. But you can also right click and as you can see, with the right click, you can also create all the other cards. Or you can click here on the toolbar. Or you can drag and drop from the toolbar. You can copy some text from anywhere and paste it inside the board. So for example, just open the first note, copy the text, go back to the canvas and paste it. Or you can start a connection and click on add card and it works for not cards too. You must know that a text card can be transformed into a note by right clicking on it and convert to file. Give it a name, save it, and you can work inside the note directly from the canvas. Now, inside the board, you can create note cards and you can do that by clicking here on the toolbar and search for the note. So let's open the third note or by drag and drop here, first note. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay. Or you can just right click and add a note from the vault. Okay. And here we go. Or you can drag and drop a note directly from your vault, like this. But one thing that I really like, and to do that, I just remove every note here and I move all the notes inside the folder. Okay. If you take the folder and you drag and drop the entire folder here, as you can see, you will automatically drop every note into your board. And in my opinion, this is huge because you can have a folder with some notes inside it that are related with each other and putting them into your canvas board will allow you to connect them and have a big picture. For example, like this, you know. You can also embed images, videos, or PDF files by clicking on the toolbar here and choose the, the file that you want to embed inside the board. So for example, this image or a video. 
to go or you can do a PDF or you can just drag and drop them directly from the vault. Lastly, you can embed web pages by copy paste the URL inside the board like this for YouTube videos. Now that we have some cards, we can connect them by clicking on the little dot here. And you can also add a label by double clicking on the arrow. And you can also change the color of the arrow. If you want to change a connection, you can update it by clicking the arrow and just move on another card. Now, when you start to have a lot of cards, you will need to move around the board more frequently and the pen, scroll and zoom tips that I'm going to show you will definitely help you. Use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down. And if you hold shift while you do that, you can scroll left and right. And if you hold the space bar or the control or command from macOS, you can zoom in and out. And two very nice shortcuts for zooming are Shift 1 for zoom to fit all cards or Shift 2 for zoom to a selection. Lastly, holding the space bar or the middle or the right click, you can pen. There are other few options I want to show you regarding cards. You have some alignment option here and you can also create group, group 1. And by doing that, you can move more cards together, but you will be still able to move out some card and drag new card inside the group. And you can also change the color of the group and you can manage the color of single cards inside the group. Now that we saw what Obsidian Canvas offers, I want to show you two community plugins that will enhance your Canvas experience. Canvas mind map and Canvas links. I also wrote an article on Medium about this and if you want to check it out, I will leave the link in the description down below. Let's start by installing the plugins. To do that, go to the settings, community plugins, and turn on community plugins and click here on browse and search for Canvas mind map, install, enable, and do the same for the other plugin. Install and enable. Basically, as the name suggests, this plugin makes your canvas work like a mind map and also make the usage of canvas smoother by using additional shortcuts. To show you these shortcuts, I just create another canvas. Okay, so new canvas and we call it test plugin. Okay, so first of all, let's create one card. Now, if I select this card and I press tab, I will create a child card. Now, if I select the card and I press enter, I will create a brother card. And if I do it again, I will create a third card. Now, if I remove a card, the layout will be automatically rearranged. Lastly, if you press alt and the keyboard arrows, you can navigate between cards. And if you press Ctrl or Command for macOS and the keyboard arrows, you will instantly create floating cards. Now let's see what Canvas Links does. As we already saw in my first video, we can see how two or more nodes in the vault are linked together through outgoing links and backlinks, like this one. But unfortunately, you can't see the links between the Canvas and the files embedded into it. The purpose of this plugin is to show these outgoing links and backlinks. To set the plugin, just open the command palette with Ctrl P or Command P for macOS and search for Canvas Links, enable plugin. And now on top here, you have two buttons, the outgoing links and the backlinks. And if you click here on Canvas, you can see the backlinks. And if you click here on Title, is just the name of our Canvas that we created before. And if you go here on files, you can see all the outgoing links from the canvas. There you have it, a comprehensive guide to Obsidian Canvas. I hope you are as excited as I am about the possibilities this plugin offers for knowledge management and idea visualization. With Canvas, you can jot down ideas 
connect them and rearrange them effortlessly. It's like having a digital whiteboard that never runs out of space. It's a powerful tool for visualizing knowledge. Whether you are outlining a project, planning your goals, or mapping out a complex topic, Canvas helps you to see the big picture. Now, before we go, remember to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to receive more productivity and PKM tips. And of course, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for joining me today and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, stay productive.